Hello friends, uh, today is my 23rd presentation for the team of corporate finance and accounts functions and subject today's topic is 68 causes that can adversely impact the financial reporting of key expenses related to purchase and employee cost in the P&L account. Overall this is my 54th presentation considering all the YouTube presentations that I have made so far. I have included the following aspects in my presentation. Narration of the four types of expense heads uh, related to the purchase expenses. Narration of the 10 types or expense heads related to the employee expenses. Listing of the 17 unique operational and unethical causes uh, out of 68 that affect the accuracy of purchase related expenses in the PLNL account. Listing of the 40 unique operational and unethical causes that affect the accuracy of employees uh, related expenses in the PNL account. Uh, listing of 8 common operational causes out of 68 that affect the accuracy of financial reporting of PNL account or balance sheet. Listing of 3 common ethical unethical causes that affect the accuracy of financial reporting of PNL or balance sheet. Uh, listing of few aspects included in my previous presentation, second 22nd. This presentation is based on primary keeping in mind the typical large product manufacturing and selling company but concepts are applicable equally in all the industries. Narration of four expenses, type of expenses purchase, purchase dated. Type 1 is purchase of raw materials, type 2 is purchase of uh, purchase through imports, uh, type 3 is purchase of traded goods and type 4 is purchase of outsourced services. There are 17 causes uh, out of 68 that can adversely impact financial reporting uh, these are listed here vis a vis purchase expenses. Similarly, there are 10 types of employee related expenses type 1 employee salaries, type 2 employee wages primarily for the blue collar workmen, uh, type 3 employees bonus and incentives, type 4 employees welfare expenses, type 5 ex employees post employment expenses, type 6 contribution to provident fund, si type 7 is contribution to gratuity fund, type 8 is contribution to superannuation fund in some companies contribution uh, type 9 is contribution to the ESIC which is employee state insurance corporation and number uh, 10 is other employees reimbursements reimbursements so there are 40 causes which can be which originate from uh, these uh, type of uh, 10 type of employee related expenses which can adversely impact financial reportings now listing of 17 unique operational and unethical causes that affect the accuracy of purchase related expenses in the PNL account. So, uh, <coughs> uh, first of all, related to the, out of this 17 which are relevant to the purchase function, 8 are attributed to the purchasing buying of raw material cost and uh, reflecting that in the uh, PNL account. So, number 1 is uh, uh, out of 8 is accurate categorization to determine the cost of the goods sold. Uh, only raw materials consumables used in the end product should be considered not expenses for maintenance and equipment and non-production items or overheads. Consistent valuation. Inventory valuation methods such as weighted average cost or FIFO must be consistently used instead of changing from year to year. Number 3. Landed cost. These must include the incoming freight, marine insurance, loading and unloading related to the raw material cost, less discounts received from the vendor if any. Material rejections. Cost towards the value of the rejections attributed to the poor quality must be subtracted to determine the cost of goods sold. Inventory valuation. Difference between the book inventory and the physical inventory to be adequately uh, accounted for to determine the cost of goods sold. Uh, <coughs> purchase of raw material continued. Overstating uh, or understanding the inventory, uh, this can lead to incorrect COGS cost of goods sold. All purchase invoices. All purchase invoices for which material received and accepted or paid in advance are to be included and not missed. Authorized purchases. Expense towards authorized purchases to be only considered which are properly documented in terms of inwards uh, and quality acceptance etc. etc. Type 2. Purchase through imports. There are uh, 4, uh, uh, four uh, causes out of 17 which are applicable to imports and now the uh, the first point is that uh, the expenses uh, the all the expenses which were there in the uh, type 1 are applicable that means uh, these 8 causes which I had mentioned these are also applicable equally applicable to the imports. Uh, imports duty 
करेक्ट रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द इम्पोर्ट ड्यूटी बेस्ड ऑन द पासड आउट पास और आउट ऑफ चार्ज बिल ऑफ एंट्री डॉक्यूमेंट टू बी अकाउंटेड लैंडेड कॉस्ट एक्यूरेसी दिस मस्ट इंक्लूड ऑल डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस रिलेटेड टू द इम्पोर्ट परचेज सच एज इनवर्ड ओशन फ्रेड और एयर फ्रेड और मैरिन इंश्योरेंस एंड सी एच ए कस्टम हाउस एजेंसी चार्जेस इंस्पेक्शन चार्जेस बाई द कस्टम्स पोर्ट हैंडलिंग चार्जेस एंड फाइन्स और पेनल्टीज इम्पोज बाई द कस्टम्स करेंसी फ्लक्चुएशन करेक्ट रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द फॉरन करेंसी कन्वर्टेड इन टू टू कन्वर्टेड टू इंश्योर कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड नाउ परचेज ऑफ ट्रेडेड गुड्स दिस इज सिमिलर टू द टाइप वन सो आई एम नॉट रिपीटिंग एंड टाइप फोर इज परचेज ऑफ आउट सोर्ड सर्विसेज देर आर फोर कॉजेज विच कैन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू इनक्यूरेसी ऑफ द एक्सपेंसिस इन दी पी एल एन अकाउंट वन इज एक्यूरेट कॉस्ट टू बी इंश्योर्ड बेस्ड ऑन द स्कोप ऑफ सर्विस इन द एग्रीमेंट कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स फॉर विच दो आउट सोर्स सर्विस दैट आर डायरेक्टली एट्रीब्यूटेड टू द एंड प्रोडक्ट द कॉस्ट टू बी इंक्लूडिंग दिस कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम जॉब वर्क एक्सेट्रा टी डी एस ए लोकल सर्विस प्रोवाइडर कॉस्ट रिलेटेड टू द टैक्सेज फ्रॉम द लोकल सर्विस प्रोवाइडर टू बी इनकॉपरेट करेक्टली फॉर ओवरसी कंसल्टेंट्स और सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स विद होल्डिंग टैक्स ऑन सर्विस टू बी अकाउंटेड फॉर प्रॉपरली आफ्टर कंसिडरिंग डबल टैक्सेशन अवॉइडेंस एग्रीमेंट विद स्पेसिफिक कंट्रीज एंड करेंसी फ्लक्चुएशन करेक्ट रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ द फॉरन करेंसी कन्वर्शन चार्जेस टू बी रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द एक्सपेंसिस एक्यूरेटली सो दैट मेक्स सेवनटीन कॉजेस द लिस्टिंग ऑफ फोर्टी यूनिक ऑपरेशनल एंड अनिथिकल कॉजेस दैट अफेक्ट द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज Uh, employee related expenses in the pnl account so actually i am just putting this operational and unethical causes together uh, and you can uh, uh, use them as you feel appropriate number 1 there are seven causes out of uh, 40 which are related to this employee bonus and incentive uh, in fact first one is employee salaries there are four four causes out of 40 which are relevant to this employee salaries One is the accurate categorization of the employees. Salary might be incorrectly classified as operating expenses. Uh, inaccurate deductions, payroll taxes, social security contributions, or other mandatory deductions from the employees' salaries can lead to overstatement uh, of the expenses. Currency fluctuations. If salaries are paid in foreign currency, uh, inaccurate factors in the exchange rate fluctuations can cause discrepancies in the reporting. Consolidation is also in the case of multi plants and subsidiaries. type to employee wages primarily related to the blue collar workers and points are similar to the one which i stated for the salaries uh, four points i said and uh, uh, next point is overtime and bonus treatment overtime pay and bonus usually paid to the blue collar employees may not be consistently included in the wage reporting on usually overtime is not paid to the white collar uh, exceptions are of course there type 3 is the employed bonus and incentives related expenses these there are seven causes attributed to this accurate categorization is the one accurate uh, accrual mismatch not considering accrued bonuses earned but not yet paid can lead to under understating of the expenses in the current period consistent treatment treatment from year to year must be consistent non cash bonuses the value of the non cash bonuses for example stock options must be accurately reflected in the pnl a uh, tax implication the tax implication of the bonus and incentives programs need to be fully considered in the pnl reporting timing discrepancies bonus and incentive might be recorded in the wrong accounting period leading to inaccuracy in the pnl accounts because bonuses and uh, incentives at times are payable at the end of the year accuracy in the calculating the amount bonuses and incentives computational errors can result in overstatement of the uh, or understatement of the expenses in the pnl account <coughs> because sometimes the bonus computation can be very complex type 4 employees welfare expenses uh, there are five causes which can contribute to this one is the uh, inaccurate categorization uh, number 2 is the consistent uh, treatment and uh, number 3 uh, is capitalization certain expenses like gym memberships or employees health related uh, assistance programs Uh, might be incorrectly capitalized instead of expensed missing items some employees benefits like company paid health insurance premiums paternity period uh, paid leaves 
must be fully reflected in the uh, reported ex uh, expenses. All expenses must be accounted for expenses such as unused vacation uh, or sick leave that employees are entitled to uh, cash out upon termination must be reflected promptly. Type 5 Employee post employment expenses. <coughs> uh, accurate, there are five causes. Uh, one is the accurate categorization, number two is accrual mismatch. It is especially relevant for post employment benefits like severance pay or pension obligations which accumulate over time, primarily uh, pension. Uh, 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 private sector is not applicable, mostly applicable in the public sector or the government sector. Uh, actual related measurements due to complex actuarial calculation, the cost of post employment benefits may need to be more accurately measured. Actuarial assumptions about employees' mortal mortality, turnover, and discount rates can affect the measurement of the post employment benefits uh, liabilities and therefore must be fully supported. Disclosure issues. Inadequate disclosure of the post-employment expenses in the PLN account and uh, consistent treatment is must. Type 6. Contribution to the Provident Fund. There are five causes which can lead to incorrect uh, uh, reporting of employee related expenses. Accurate classification. Employee contribution to PF or employee benefits and must be classified as direct business expenses like administrative. Uh, accurate classification. Uh, PF contributions are a percentage of employees salary and uh, uh, must be computed accurately to avoid under reporting timing correctness pf contributions are typically deposited monthly but pnl statement might be prepared quarterly or annually inconsistencies in recording the expenses can distort the profit figures adequate disclosures contribution value timely deposit fines and penalties if any need to be reported tax treatment all taxation provisions related to the pf contributions tax directability must be strictly followed to reflect tax liabilities Type 7 contribution to the gratuity four aspects four causes proper timing gratuity is a lump sum payment to employees upon retirement resignation or death after completing a minimum service period the reporting period must follow accounting standards consistent method two common methods for accounting for gratuity are actuarial valuation and provisions method reporting methods must be consistent from year to year adequate disclosures competition timely timely reporting and any fines penalties to be disclosed if any tax treatment all taxation provisions related to the gratuity contribution tax directory must be strictly followed to reflect the tax liabilities particularly be, uh, in case the gratuity payment is beyond a particular uh, upper limit type 8 contribution supervision fund these aspects are similar to the one which i shared about the pf since, since not repeating uh, contribution to esic that is uh, primarily for the low salaried, low wages, uh, blue collar work, workmen mostly. Uh, this is employee state insurance related uh, uh, premium which are paid. Uh, accurate classification is one one cause. Uh, accurate employee wage basis. Uh, ASIC contributions are percentage of the employee wages. Using a correct wage base including the taxable allowances for the calculation is essential to avoid over or understatement of the uh, 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 ESIC related expenses exemption permitted certain employees categories might be exempt from the ESIC uh, contribution based on the salary threshold and must be appropriately accounted for timing correctness similar to the provident fund which I had shared earlier and employee versus em employer versus employee share the ESIC scheme involves both employer and employee uh, contribution these must be shown separately to avoid mixing and confusion Ten type 10 last one uh, other employees are reimbursement. Now, th this need to be clearly categorized, uh, such as food and beverages, travel, local, or overseas, convenience, relocation expenses, uh, <coughs> and must not be clubbed together to understand the spending patterns. Documentation issues. Before allowing reimbursement, uh, complete documentation, including statutory requirements related, uh, for example, receipt, invoices, claim uh, approval vouchers, to be ensured before reporting the expenses. Now, I am listing the uh, 8 common operational causes that can affect the accuracy of the financial reporting of the PNL or balance sheet. Uh, uh, these were also reflected in my previous presentation. The lack of transparency in the computation of the value 
missing out a few transactions inadvertently, inconsistency in the financial reporting from year to year, insufficient or non availability of the supporting documents for proper accounting, insufficient disclosures, non implementation of segregation of duties in terms of maker checker approval concept, applying incorrect accounting standards, and weak controls. These are the eight causes out of 68 that can adversely impact the financial reporting. Uh, listing of three common unethical causes. Uh, here the focus is primarily on the unethical aspects like <coughs> number one, uh, deliberate manipulation of the following <coughs> uh, as applicable in the each line item in the <coughs> algorithm that determines the value of the uh, value by the ERP or the software solution vis a vis <coughs> purchase rates or tax rates like uh, GST or income tax rate or custom duty rate, etc. as relevant. Reduction or addition in the formula conditions for the arriving at the net value, uh, classification, accounting heads in the general ledger, and other commercial terms impacting financials, and so on. Number two is maliciously accessing and making unauthorized changes in the following: one, master data tables and fields, configuration tables and fields, data tables and fields, and financial accounting documents and fields. And number three is the compromising on the statutory compliances including the return, filing of the returns etc. <coughs> the above captures uh, three causes that can adversely impact the financial reporting. So that makes it up total 68. List of few aspects which have been included in my previous 22nd presentation are seven essential features of for all type of financial reports which are mandatory required. Uh, summary of 62 heads that are applicable in the PNL uh, PNL report like I have talked about uh, uh, purchase uh, purchase related four heads and uh, employees related uh, <coughs> ten heads and so on and so forth. There are other heads which are there applicable in the PNL reports and summary of 73 heads that are applicable to balance sheet uh, reports, which I'll be taking up separately. Uh, now, the these aspects are more uh, covered in the my second book titled Profitability and Ethics: Essential Ingredients for Business Success. The book has been listed in the Amazon as per the link which I have stated here. Uh, you can also refer to the several blogs on my website related to the corporate finance and accounts function under the category all industries because there are two categories one is the all industries second is the real estate uh, and uh, of course you can also refer to some articles of interest to you on the uh, my website www.ethicalprocesses.com and you can also refer to some articles of your interest in the facebook and linkedin for reference are given here thank you very much